Solving inequalities is almost exactly the same as solving equations. The only difference is that if you divide or multiply by a negative number, you flip the sign and point it the other direction. Other than that, all the rules you know for equations also work for inequalities. In this first example, all we need to do is get rid of the negative 3, so the variable is by itself on one side of the operator. We'll do that by doing the opposite of subtraction. So we'll add 3 over here, add 3 over here. These 3's will cancel and we'll have x is less than 10 plus 3, which is 13. Then we find 13 on our graph. It says that x is less than 13, so not equal to. So we'll just draw a circle around the point at 13, and then we shade to the left. So x can be anything right up to 13, or any number smaller than that. In the second example, we have basically the same step, so we'll just add 20 to both sides here to get rid of this negative 20. Add 20 over here. These will cancel. We'll have x on the left-hand side is less than or equal to 34. Now obviously, the difference here between this one and the last one is that we have an equal to, so we'll find 34 on our graph here, something about here, and instead of drawing an open circle, we'll fill it in, showing that 34 is also included. Then we'll shade to the left, since x is anything at 34 or smaller, less than or equal to 34. In example D, the only difference we have here is that instead of subtraction or addition, we have multiplication. So we'll get rid of this negative 5 by dividing both sides by negative 5, since we're multiplying at the moment. Those negative 5's will cancel. 21 divided by negative 5 would mean that we'd have x is less than or equal to negative 4 and 1 fifth. So we find negative 4 and 1 fifth on our graph. It says that x can be less than or equal to that. So we'll draw a filled in circle and then shade to the left. And that's it.